Do us a quick favor, guys. Hit the follow subscribe button. Share this with someone who would benefit from it. And help us grow, as the more we grow, the better the episodes we get. Thanks, guys, for helping us. And let's get into the episode. And he's here. He is here. Cristiano has entered the building. Welcome, wherever you are, to the Old Trafford Theatre. Welcome back, guys, to this episode of the Sculptor Podcast. Today, I just want to talk about what is sculpting. Now, if you are new to the Sculpted Podcast, then you're probably unfamiliar with the word of sculpting and sculpted in itself. Now, today has been a long day for me recruiting a CTO for the Sculpted app. Now, I'm very new to the business world and it's difficult for me to hire because I don't necessarily know what I'm looking for. Now, take that with a grain of salt um, because I know what I'm looking for in a person, but I don't know what I'm looking for, for example, for a CTO. Now, what I look for instantly is someone who resonates with Sculpted because I know that if they're a sculptor or an architect, they're willing to put in the work to meet the needs of the Sculpted app. Now, Sculpted. What is Sculpted? So, Sculpted, if you know the logo, three pillars. Three pillars is the foundation to any successful endeavor. To anything in your life, if you want to become good at something, you need three pillars that you need to thrive for every single day. If you know me, you've heard me, you've heard me say this. My three pillars, dedication, professionalism, and effort. Okay? My three pillars in life, when I talk about how I want to convey myself with my family, joyfulness, good, uh, good, good, full, goodness, sorry, and faithfulness, so that's, that's my Christianity, and then my football is attacking, then we've got leadership, and then we've got calculated. Okay, so then for talking about relationships, I'm talking about, um, it's, it's a little bit difficult for me to remember off the top of my head, hold up, I, I know them, but I'm driving at the moment, so it gets a little bit complicated here. Okay, so we've got, oh, wait up, I'm trying to think and drive, not the best thing. Um, we have... I'm going to skip it just because I don't want to say something incorrect. And I'm looking for speed cameras at the moment. So I'm going to I'm going to skip that. But I have another three for life. And essentially, this is this is in my journal. Now, I should be remembering them. I actually can't. I don't know why I'm not remembering them. But every single night before I go to bed, I, re I write down a reflection of what my three pillars are and how I act within them. So those three pillars are fundamental to everything that I do whether it's my interactions, uh, transparency. Um, but I said joyfulness in my Christianity one. Transparency. Um, okay. Um, I'm not going to say anything else because I, I don't want to get it wrong here. But essentially, another three for my interactions and, and my relationships that I have with people. So I have four sets of three pillars. And that could be extended into any endeavor, but those are the four things that matter to me. Professionalism, dedication, effort, and then I've got my other three sets of three. So that is what the sculpted logo means. Now, when we're talking about the word sculpted, what is sculpting? What is an architect, right? Sculpted. Now, everyone who listens to this podcast probably thinks and knows the word grinding. He probably thinks that I'm a grinder, you know? Um, far from it. Grinding is a full stop. There is an end. Sculpting is... It's all about sustain... Su sustainability? I, I don't necessarily like that word. Um, although, that's probably the best simple term for it. So... Sorry, just got a text from my mum. Sculpting is all about longevity. Now, I'm sure you've heard of challenges, 
such as 75 hard, I think it is, or all of these one month challenges, all of those short term, you know, inspirational things. That is what grinding is. There's a reason why it's only a set number of days. It's because you probably won't get through doing it for much longer, right? It's 75 days because doing 76 is really difficult and it's probably not sustainable, okay? What that is, it's short term. You're grinding, okay? The analogy. It is, if you have a piece of marble in front of you and you are tasked with building the best, most beautiful piece of art there is, right? That's your life. You want it to be the most beautiful piece of art. When you look back at it, you want it to be something amazing, something beautiful, something you can be proud of. What's your tool of choice? Is it a grinder? Is it a grinder? Where, you know, you keep grinding at it, keep grinding away, and eventually, at the at the end of your life, or maybe even before, if you're, doing, if you're grinding so hard, what are you left with? Probably, you're going to just be left with dust. Because there's nothing to keep you going. You're, I'm not going to say burn out, but you're, you're going to find that there's a full stop. It's not burnout. It's you've just done it wrong, which then leads to symptoms of burnout. And then you feel like you've got to do something else. Now, people would call that burnout. I just don't like the word burnout, so I'm not going to use it. But it's a full stop. Now, what is sculpting? It's life is hard. Not 75. It's life's hard. And you know what? I'm going to embrace that. Life being hard is what I want. If it's easy, that's the problem. Life being easy is a problem, okay? Because what are you truly working to if life was easy? Nothing should be easy. There is no gain in something that's easy, okay? Sculpting. It's focusing on longevity. Now, people who hear that, and they hear what I just said about grinding. You probably think that I am completely against grinding, and no, I'm not. I just think that there's a better way of doing it. Now, let me finish the analogy first before I go on to what sculpting completely is. Now, as I mentioned, if you were to make that beautiful piece of art, you wouldn't use a grinder. The best tool of choice would be some sort of chisel. You're sculpting away at that piece of stone, revealing all of the pieces, getting rid of the bad, or revealing the good. What is that? That's sculpting. How do you change that and and make that your life? You do that by getting rid of the bad and keeping the good, adapting and evolving. You're going to make mistakes because naturally you might hit a rock, a piece of rock too hard and there's a big dent. You fix that, okay? You don't make that dent bigger, you fix it. You do everything you can within your power because you can't put that piece of rock back. You do everything that you can within your power to adapt to that new situation. Now, what the sculpted app is, the sculpted app is your chisel to your sculpture, right? That's my analogy there. And I've been repeating that the whole day to, to potential um, CTOs. The app is the chisel to your sculpture. It's big. It's big. Now, what I was talking about sculpting it's an art form and as i mentioned if you hear me giving that analogy you probably think that i'm completely against grinding and you probably think it's incorporating more rest it's 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 all those buzzwords that are associated with well-being it's uh what's that word where it's encompassing the whole human um whole not wholesome but it's um holistic hate that word. Don't get me wrong. Sculpting is a holistic way of doing it. I hate that word. Um, because I think it's used wrong, just like everything that I say. I think it's just used wrong. Now, I'll give a reason to why I think it's used wrong. When people think of a holistic, they think of stopping doing the work. That's not what holistic means. Holistic means encompassing everything, the whole, okay? So when people talk about holistic, they think Oh, okay, so, you know, you can kind of relax a little bit now. No, holistic means you go harder. It means you do even more. It means you do the mental. You do, you know, you, you. if it's religion, you become religious. It's whatever that is, 
It's not doing less, it's doing more in more areas. That's what holistic means. But people think that holistic is doing less, rest, recovery, doing all that soppy stuff. All those beautiful buzzwords that people use before mental health and things like that. So this so-called holistic approach, I believe, is completely soft. It's an excuse to relax. And it's a buzzword. It's soft. It's, it's one of those mental health things. The reason why I think mental health is wrong, the wrong word to use, is not because the word is inherently wrong, but the use of it's wrong. People say mental health is all about rest. It's all about reacting to the situation. That's not what mental health means. If you're talking about mental health, it's about proactive health. It's about doing the C uh, the CBT, the cognitive brain therapy, or whatever that's called. Um, now, I say that, but I do it every single day, so that's a bit um, ignorant of me to forget what it is. But doing the subconscious brain training that I do, the mental training that I do. Now, that's so important. That's what sculpting is. It's taking all aspects of your life and not doing less. It's doing more in just more areas. That's what sculpting is. Sculpting isn't resting. Sculpting isn't taking five days off and doing two days of good training. That's not what it is. Sculpting is six days a week going all out on the seventh day resting and then repeating and doing it again and improving every single day, getting that compound effect and becoming better and better at your craft daily. The rest comes on the Sunday or the rest day for you. Okay, it, it's everything. It's not just the physical, it's the mental. It's, it's the religion. It's the external. That's important. It's the networking. It's the dedication to the craft. It's the analysis. It's the reflection. It's the prayer. It's everything. And it's not just doing it once or twice. It's doing it frequently. Constantly improving. You're sculpting every part of you, right? If you were just to sculpt the physical, maybe you get good arms, but what happened to the head? The sculpture of the head, it's, it's unfinished. It's unpolished. What's, what's happened? You've left it. You've left stones unturned. So are you grinding or are you sculpting, right? You could keep grinding away at those arms. But what happens What happens later? You're left with either nothing because you've gone all out and you've left too many stones unturned because you've left, you've got nothing left of your arms. You've, you've just left yourself in the dark there, all right? With, with nowhere to go now because there's nothing to do. You haven't adapted. You haven't evolved. You haven't been ahead of the curve. You've got to be ahead of the curve. Sculpting is catching things before they come. It's proactive. It's proactive. Constant reflection. Constant analysis. Constant vision. Where are you going? Put it into perspective. Next two weeks, where are you going? Is it realistic? Maybe. What are the steps to make it more realistic? Right? It's not just doing the mental in terms of how do I feel? That's good. Works for journaling every single day, like I do. But what's really good? Proactive. Looking into the future. Reflecting. Going within. All of these different things nobody talks about. Right? And if they do, they only talk about that specifically. But that is as important as the physical. And putting, to, putting them together, that's even better. That's what sculpting is. Sculpting isn't doing it easy. Sculpting isn't taking a break. Sculpting isn't relaxing. It's doing more. Just smarter. It's effective. It's efficient. It's working smarter and working harder. An analogy. Or an, an example put into perspective, maybe. When you are in a, does a, a, an extremely dire situation, for example... You've got no food on the table. You can't eat. You don't know where your next meal is coming for, from. And maybe you're in a desert. You don't know where your food is coming from. Now, your motivation has never been higher to get that food. You're starving, right? But somehow, you have the physical capability and mental fortitude to get that food because it's survival instinct. And 
it's never been higher for you. The incentive's never been higher. So, why can't you bring that to everything you do? If the incentive is so high, it forces action. There's no excuse but to act, right? It's that or you die. Okay, if, if the incentive is too far, then there's too much gray area. You don't know what the consequences are. You don't know uh, what the repercussions. There's too much gray area. You end up not doing it. Why don't you bring that same attention, desire, structure, incentive into everything you do? Everything. Replicate it. Okay? Now, it's a complicated one to get your head around. And it comes... And, and me saying this and this being completely new to you if it is you're only going to understand this in a few years time it doesn't come naturally you have to live this you have to live this you have to actually put it into into action and and i'm not saying go in all out right away and, and start incentivizing you to do crazy things don't do that because you won't understand it when you hear me saying this you're only going to understand me in three years time maybe if you're lucky that's that's if you've taken action okay now, action looks different for everyone. I can't tell you the actionable steps that you need to take. But the first step is awareness. Addressing it. Then taking action. And then analyzing it. And going from the top again. So address it. Uh, address. So this is this is actually one of the mental drills that I do. It's address, awareness, uh, action, and then assessment. Those are the four things. Those are your four A's that you should do for everything. Okay. That takes a lot of time. A lot of time. But addressing it, I've addressed it. Now you've got to start being aware of it. Now you, then you've got to start taking action on it. Then you've got to analyze it. Then you've got to go again from the top. Okay? Now, my mental drills are written in science. They're written in studies. They're written in personal experience. There's flaws, of course. It's very personal. It's very situational. But it works for me. Now, as I've said before in previous episodes, I won't tell you to do something that I haven't done myself. So I will say to you, it could work for you. It's worked for me. I don't see why it couldn't work for you. Now, it's simple when you do it. It's simple when you're adherent. But the crazy thing is not many people are adherent because the incentive is too far for them. They don't put it into perspective. They don't realize what it takes. Re-incentivize, put it into perspective, start taking action, address action, sorry, address awareness, action, analysis. Simple. Start very small. When we're talking about the flywheel effect, start very small. Val and I have made an episode about the flywheel effect before. Start there. Start very simple. Progress. Improve. Compound. Start. That's how it should be. You've made the first step by being aware of, uh, by addressing it today. So, firstly, congratulations for listening to this episode. Secondly, you're welcome. You know, you're welcome. <laughs> Big up myself. Um, now, be aware of it. Be aware of it in your day-to-day life. Then, start taking action because you're aware of it. You've addressed it. And then when you start to take action, start analyzing it. Simple. Every two weeks. That's how I do it. Every two weeks, I'm doing a new mental drill. I have... Uh, one, two, three, one, two. Got eight different mental drills for me to do every two weeks. And that's... Sorry, 12. 12 different mental drills every two weeks. And that's how I do it. So every two days, I'm doing... Two mental drills. Now, you could do one every day. Um, I, w- I was told by a psychologist, my frequency is a little bit high. So, I, I did it. I didn't want to drop any of my mental skills um, exercises that I do. So, I just did them twice. Twice every day, every second day. Um, so, that was how I worked that out. Um, but it's going to look different for you. You can start doing it how I'm doing it, but it's completely dependent on how you feel comfortable and how you want to start doing it. If if it's difficult for you to start, do it once a week in terms of just do one a week. Start progressing. Do it that way. 
But guys, um, I don't want to go too on too much longer on that because it's a very complicated subject. That, and the main thing is you just need that. So first of all, addressing it. Then secondly, you need to just be aware of it. And then you need to start taking that action and then start analyzing it. That's what sculpting is. To summarize, working smarter and harder, working efficient, and the app will be the tool to your sculpture, the chisel to your sculpture. You're getting better and better, right? That's what it is, sculpting. Remember it? Change the vocabulary. Are you an architect? Or are you in the grind set? Are you a grinder? Are you grinding? What are you doing? Sculpting or grinding? I'd be interested to know. And how they're working for you. And if you're doing very well grinding, then I'd argue that you're probably sculpting. Let's change the word. Let's change the vocabulary. I want to hear people start saying sculpting. I want to hear it. I want to hear people saying that they're sculpting. And I think that this app, the sculpted app, will be amazing for this. It's going to be the chisel. It's going to be the chisel. I'm excited. And I hope you are too. Because it's in your best interest. It is completely in your best interest. But guys, I hope you uh, enjoyed this podcast. I hope you got something out of it. And I hope that you're all as ill. I don't want to say that. Passionate? No. I hope that you're as excited as I am to start sculpting even more, right? The more I start sculpting and, and making this more profound to you, the better at sculpting I will get. Therefore, it's in my best interest to help you sculpt yourself because then I learn how to sculpt myself even better. Selfish, baby. Result-driven, 100%. It's on you. What will you do? Anyways, guys, I'll catch you tomorrow.